The people of Israel waited for centuries for the Messiah to be born. And God told the story over and over through the prophets. But when it was finally happened, when Jesus was born, God told the story to a few lowly shepherds. Luke 2, 8 through 20 says, And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord sh shone around them. And they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They, so they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the, for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. God told the shepherds that Jesus had been born. And by doing that, he told the whole world that he had come for all of us. Jesus would not live in a palace separate from the world. He wanted everyone to come to him unafraid so that he could be their savior. This message wasn't just for the rich and famous. It was for all of us.